In this problem, we're told a novice skier starting from rest slides down a frictionless 13 degree incline whose vertical height is 125 meters. How fast is she going when she reaches the bottom? So let's go ahead and draw an image of what's going on here. So imagine this right here is gonna be the incline. So there's our incline. And so we know it's gonna be 13 degrees, right? So 13 degrees. And so we have a skier up top. And so we know the vertical height of our incline is going to be 125 meters. So this height right here is 125 meters. And then they're going to slide down this frictionless incline and then they're going to reach the bottom. And so they're going to be at the bottom and we're trying to find how fast they're going when they reach the bottom. So I'm going to say V equals question mark because that's what we're trying to find. So this is going to be our image. And so now what we want to do is uh, write down uh, the formulas for kinetic energy and potential energy. So you're gonna to need to know these to solve this. So we have kinetic energy and potential energy. So the formula for kinetic energy is one half mv squared. And then for potential energy, it's mg times h. And so we're gonna use these formulas in order to solve it. So the way we do this, right, is we're gonna have two different uh, formulas, right? So we're gonna have the kinetic energy and potential energy here at the top, and then the kinetic energy and potential energy at the bottom. So we're gonna split these up into two different things, right? So let me write down the given. So we know the mass is gonna stay constant and you don't need to use, uh, know the mass for this because they're gonna cancel out, but uh, essentially there's gonna be a V sub one, right? And I'm gonna say V sub one is their velocity here. And then V sub two is their velocity here, right? So V sub two and V sub one, right? And so V sub two is what we're trying to find. So I'm gonna put a question mark next to it. And so we know that they start from rest, right? So we're calling V sub one their velocity here. So I'm just gonna say it's zero meters per second, right? So their velocity there is zero. And then we also have H, right? So H is the height of the person at the time. And so I'm just gonna call this uh, Y1 and Y2, right? So their height here, which is Y1, and their height here, which is Y2. So we also know uh, these two, right? So at Y1, what is their height from the ground? It's gonna be 125 meters above the ground. So 125 meters is their Y1. And then at the end, it's at the bottom of the incline, right? And so they're gonna be zero meters from the bottom. So we're just gonna call this zero. And so now what we, uh, now what we wanna do is take each of these and set them equal. So uh, you'll set it up like this. So it'll be one half, let me write it right here actually, one half m v one squared plus, and then we're gonna use this, instead of h, I'm just gonna call it y1 and y2. So just keep that in mind. So plus mg, and then I'm gonna call this y1, right? So replace it with a uh, y1. And then you're gonna set that equal to these just with V2 and Y2. So it's gonna be one half MV2 squared plus MG uh, times Y2. And so once we have it like this, what we're gonna actually be able to do is solve V2, right? Cause that's what we're trying to solve for. So we have our equation and we just gotta plug in the variables and we'll be able to solve. So uh, it's actually gonna be pretty easy cause some of the variables are gonna cancel out, but you'll see that V sub one is zero, right? So if we plug this in here, plugging in all the variables, m times zero squared, right? This is just gonna become zero, this whole thing right here. So we have zero plus mg times y1, right? I'm not gonna plug, actually I'll plug it in. 125, right? That's y1 equals one half mv2, which we don't know, mv2 squared, and then plus mg times y2. And y2 is zero, so this thing right here is gonna become zero. So plus zero, but I'm just gonna leave it. So essentially we have mg times 125 equals one half m times v2 squared. So what we're gonna do is solve for v2 and what you should notice uh, right away is that our masses are gonna cancel, right? Cause we don't have the mass. And so we're actually just able to cancel them out. So 125 g is equal to one half v2 squared. And so I'm gonna multiply both sides by two to get rid of this. So if I multiply this side by two, this side. So two times 125 times g. Right, so two times 125 times G, I'm just gonna plug it in, it's 9.8, right? Because G is just gravity, equals V2. And then to get rid of the square root, I'm square rooting both sides. So square root this. So V2 is essentially equal to the square root of two times 9.8 times 125. And so if you go ahead and do this, uh, you're gonna get that it equals 49.497. So this right here is going to be, uh, you can round this however you want, right? You might want to round it down to a whole number or just round it to like 49.5. Yeah, so 49.5 and then keep in mind velocity, we're using meters and seconds, so meters per second. 
So 49.5 meters per second is going to be the velocity of the person at the bottom of the incline. And so yeah, this is your answer and hopefully you found this video useful.